Premier Wen Jiabao has called for Asian countries to deal with the financial crisis situation hand in hand. And in his keynote address at the Boao Forum for Asia, Premier Wen Jiabao outlined steps that China has taken to cope with the impact of the global financial meltdown. And he described these policies as having paid off and looked ahead at positive changes in the country's economy. The economic situation is better than expected. Domestic demand has been comprehensively boosted. Industrial output has gradually stabilized. And agricultural production is on the whole stable. Economic restructuring has made encouraging progress. And urban employment has risen. 2,680,000 jobs were created in urban areas in the first quarter. Premier Wen Jiabao at the Boao Forum. And many delegates at the Boao Forum described Wen Jiabao's speech as encouraging. They are confident that the Chinese economy will quickly regain momentum and contribute to the revival of the Asian economy. Zhang Lu reports from Boao, Hainan province. Premier Wen's address focused on China's strategy to stimulate its domestic economy and enhance cooperation with Asian partners for regional prosperity. Forum participants say the Premier's speech is inspiring and conveys a message of hope. Two parts. One part is that he is optimistic about China's economy picking up again. And the other thing that he gives the audience general confidence that this crisis will end sometimes. Some say Premier Wen's speech has enhanced their confidence in the Chinese market. Uh, we're most interested in about the Chinese economy and what are the plans for the Chinese economy and what are the forecasts and whether or not it's going to pick up. Because we're hoping that the Chinese stimulus plan will pick up the global economy and help China to pick up as well. Premier Wen said China will continue to work with Asian countries to tackle joint challenges. Deepening investment cooperation to drive regional economic growth will be a priority. And China will set up a $10 billion China ASEAN Investment Cooperation Fund. This is the first time we heard that a 10 billion U.S. dollars investment fund will be set up for ASEAN countries. This is the first of its kind which is proposed by Chinese government, and it's a good news for the whole region. That means opportunity for us financial institutions. Premier Wen Jiabao's proposals also include promoting free trade and strengthening regional financial cooperation. Some forum participants say China's move will inject vigor into the Asian economy. Zhang Lu, CCTV, Boao, Hainan Province. The central bank governor says China's economy has seen recovery signs, but is still struggling with the financial crisis. Zhou Xiaochuan gave the assessment in Boao Forum on Saturday, and he also advised emerging economies to strengthen their financial systems and called on the international financial organizations to correct problems in theirs. And Zhou also called for regional banks to play a bigger role in the global economy. Regional development banks know more about the local information. They also know more about each other and can easily reach agreements and act together. At the time of carrying out a reform of international financial institutions, including the World Bank and the IMF, we should pay attention to letting regional banks play a greater role. So China strongly supports the Asian Development Bank. We also support the African Development Bank, Inter-American Bank, Caribbean Development Bank, and EDRB. For the middle and long term, the reform international financial institutions should set up a better global financial system. It should also learn lessons from the current crisis and prevent it from happening again in the future. And the chairman of the China Banking Regulatory Commission says the Chinese government has put 4 trillion yuan stimulus package to good use in driving up the economy. Liu Mingkang made the remark at the Boao Forum on Saturday. Liu says he has a prudent and optimistic view on the country's current economic situation. He says China's fixed assets investment in the first quarter grew by 28%. 
Meanwhile, consumption grew by 15 percent and he also says the injection of 4 trillion yuan in stimulus funds has been good for the economy. Liu also notes that Chinese banks are expected to post healthy development this year. The non-performing loans of banks only account for 2.04 percent of total loans in the first quarter. That is down from 0.38 percentage points from the end of last year. You may think it is not impressive since the total pool is becoming larger with the newly added 4 trillion yuan. But the non-performing loan balance also dropped by 10 billion yuan. We expect that for this year as a whole, non-performing loans will fall in both percentage and values. The development of banks is still healthy. Experts say that Watch Biz China and make China business your business. Biz China, only on CCTV International.